Great job. Told you she was hot. All right. So, um, I believe we have Pastor Agnew. Please step forward. Come on down. You're the next contestant on. Stand up here. She is a guest speaker. I did not know that. As he walks up, I'm meeting him for the first time. I've never spoken to this man. Bless you. God bless you all. I'm glad for the weather. <laughs> no rain. Yes, Lord. Well, we love everyone. And we're so thankful for this opportunity to be here with you. It's pretty crazy out here. Yes. And, uh, the crowd it's a lot of crazy the people mic. out here. Because you always have to adjust the mic for people's heights. And I see that there's a march for freedom. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm sorry. I will not march for freedom. I have freedom. So I don't have to march for it. And I heard the talk about the mask. I am very, very um, strange. And when this thing first began, as a matter of fact, way back when the coronavirus first came out and they said that they were going to change and close the meetings of the saints, we never changed what we were doing. We've been meeting on Asher Avenue since 1988. Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. we get together and pray together nonstop. We've never not had a prayer meeting Monday through Friday. Rain, sleet, snow, tornadoes, it doesn't matter. We're going to be there praying together. Because the scripture says where two or three are gathered together, he's in the midst of us. And if God Almighty is in the midst, then nothing can stop us. And so we haven't practiced any social distancing. We've never put on a mask. We've still been having service like we've been doing for the last... 30 years. Nothing has changed. And the thing about it is, you know, when it, again, when it first happened, the, of course, the first thing that came to mind was Constitution. So the Bible says that we have one Constitution in the Bible, and then here in the United States of America, being the best nation that has ever been on the face of the earth, we have a Constitution. And in that Constitution, it says, Congress shall make no law respecting or trying to infringe upon the rights of those who gather for the purpose of religion. So we have a right to gather for the purpose of religion. And when they said that we couldn't go anywhere without a mask from day one, I never stopped what I was doing. The moment I walked in places, I didn't need anyone to tell me my rights because I know my rights. I have a constitution, a pocket constitution, and the Declaration of Independence. I take it everywhere I go, and I like pulling it out to show people because they hadn't read it. And when I pull out my constitution, I say, I can walk in here, not only based on the constitution, but there are amendments to the constitution. And you can't even stop me from shopping in Walmart. Because I can take you to court for stopping me from shopping at Walmart without a mask. There has been no law made for me to put a mask on. You have to go through legislation. So no legislation has been made, so there's no law. And I tell people, it's a suggestion. You can suggest me to do something, but if I decide not to do it as long as I'm not hurting my fellow man, then you can't make me do anything. I have a right. Now, I have to say this because some people don't know what freedom truly is. 